Everyone is loving Legacy Miniser, but is it time for the Autobots to get their own modern Legacy Combiner? Let's discuss. So, if you're a fan of the channel, you know we do weekly videos on Transformers and G.I. Joe. One of our top videos of the channel was a Transformer Legacy Menacer video, and people really liked it. I think people are super excited for cartoon, accurate combiners to finally become a possibility at an affordable price. The love for the video really showed how much love collectors have for modern homages to G1 toys. If you do it right, you get rewarded. We're going to need your help later in the video, so make sure you stick around to the end. Also, if you haven't already, think about subscribing if you like what we're doing with the channel. It really really means a lot. While Menacer isn't perfect, it is very close to its G1 cartoon counterpart, and I think it would be safe to assume that collectors would like to see more. While as of this video, there hasn't been much talk about more combiners coming down the pipeline, it doesn't mean development isn't on a way to get another one out the door for all of the fans. I think it would be safe to say that we already have Menacer in Legacy. Instead of doing another Decepticon like Bruticus, Hasbro would add an Autobot to the line so Menacer could finally have someone to battle. For an Autobot, there are several different big name choices. You have Defensor, Computron, and Superion. When it comes to every toy announcement, I think if you're watching the videos on this channel, you're well aware there are often two sides to what gets done. There are what the fans and the collectors want to see, and then there's the business side of things and what makes sense in the terms of cost effectiveness and what will bring in a profit for Hasbro and Takara. It's a fine line when it comes to these, and most often than not, the business side will win. However, let's move past that and talk about what we think we may see down the line as part of Legacy or possibly another line depending on the time frame of release. During the Combiner Wars, we got almost all of the most popular combiners that Transformers has offered. Over the run, there was many, but they all had one thing in common. They were all cookie cutter retool repaints to help cut down the cost. That was why we were able to see so many releases. In fact, this is similar to what we've seen in Generation 1, where all the pieces were interchangeable. So even as a kid, if you had the main body and four parts, you could make a combiner, which back then was smart. During Combiner Wars, this worked, but because of this, some of the combiner forms looked a little janky, like Manasaur. Now, switch to Legacy, and I feel one of the things designers have been hitting hard on is the cartoon accuracy, i.e. Menasaur. For an Autobot release, who would we see done in this cartoon accuracy? For me, it either comes down to Superion or Defensor. I think this is a correct assumption. My point earlier was, who do fans want to see, and does that match up with what Hasbro Takara think will be possible due to costs? I have to say, I'm torn on this subject. It would be cool to get a fully G1 accurate Superion. Combiner Wars version was pretty good, way better than the Combiner Wars Manosaur, but I feel like creating four or five molds of the aerial bots, maybe a bit more than Hasbro, is willing to spend so late into a line. That is why I mentioned maybe we could see something in another line outside of Legacy. However, the business side of me thinks there may be more of a chance that we would see a Defensor release, for two reasons. I feel that Defensor has been a lesser release of the two, so the designers might want to try and get more people interested in him. Secondly, the obvious one being that the center of Defensor's body reminds me a lot of Menasaur, and the four arms and legs being vehicles, could it be possible that the designers at Hasbro could do read tools on the Stunticons to bring them forth as the rescue vehicles? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. As I'm saying this, did I just totally ask the designers to retool Dead End and Wild Rider into a helicopter and motorcycle? Okay, maybe I didn't think this through. However, second pass on this idea. They could still possibly retool three out of the five and only work on original molds for blades and groove. That could possibly work. So if you want to see an Autobot combiner show up on Transformers Legacy, I'm going to have to place my vote on Defensor making it to the design stages. This is where I'm looking for your help. Comment below and cast your vote for which of these two Autobot combiners you would like to see show up in a Transformer Legacy style release. 
release. I have no clue if we'll ever get to see another Legacy Combiner, but now I know as a collector, I haven't been this excited for Transformers in a while. The idea of Manosaur finally coming has me stoked and I'm really hoping Hasbro can continue with this upcoming announcement that's out about Defensor or Superion if they have the extra cash to spend on the design stage. Really, I'm not picky. How about you? Thanks for watching. While you're here, why not check out one of our other many videos we have on the channel, such as the Walmart exclusive Velocitron preview or one of our number of our shorts we've been publishing. Thanks again.